what type of muscle is responsible for involuntary movements a skeletal muscles b smooth muscles c forearm muscles d none of the above and the correct answer is b smooth muscles involuntary movements in the body are the movements over which we have no control and smooth muscles are the muscles which are responsible for involuntary movements in the body an example of involuntary muscle movement controlled by smooth muscles is peristalsis what is the name of the layer of tissue that connects muscle to bone a muscle fiber b tendons c epidermis d connective tissue and the correct answer is b tendons a tendon is a fibrous connective tissue that attaches muscle to bone what is the function of the muscular system a posture b movement c heat production d all of the above and the correct answer is d all of the above posture movement and heat production are all functions of the muscular system what are the three types of muscles in the body a skeletal smooth and cardiac b slow twitch fast twitch and intermediate c voluntary involuntary and automatic d extensor flexor and supinator and the correct answer is a skeletal smooth and cardiac skeletal smooth and cardiac muscles are the three types of muscles in the body what type of muscle is responsible for involuntary movements such as digestion a skeletal muscle b smooth muscle c cardiac muscle d none of the above and the correct answer is b smooth muscle the type of muscle found in the digestive system is called smooth muscle smooth muscle is one of the three major types of muscle tissue in the body it lines hollow internal organs such as the stomach and intestines as well as blood vessels which neurons carry messages away from the brain to the rest of the body to allow muscles to move a sensory neurons b motor neurons c reflex neurons d both a and c and the correct answer is b motor neurons motor neurons are the cells in the brain and spinal cord that allow us to move speak swallow and breathe by sending commands from the brain to the muscles that carry out these functions the nerve fibers of the motor neurons are the longest in the body a single axon can stretch from the base of the spinal cord all the way to the toes What is the breakdown of a muscle called A rhabdomyolysis B muscular hypertrophy C Alzheimer's disease D Parkinson's disease and the correct answer is A rhabdomyolysis Rhabdomyolysis is a condition in which damaged skeletal muscle breaks down rapidly Rhabdomyolysis is potentially life threatening It results from breakdown of skeletal muscle fibers with leakage of muscle contents into the circulation. What is the term used to describe sustained contraction of a muscle? A muscle hypertrophy, B muscle atrophy, C muscle fasciculation, D tetany. And the correct answer is D tetany. sustained contraction of a muscle in tetany is evoked when the motor nerve that innervates a skeletal muscle emits action potentials at a very high rate
what is the name of the medical procedure that involves the removal of a sample of muscle tissue for examination a electromyography b muscle biopsy c manual muscle testing d computer tomography scan and the correct answer is b muscle biopsy muscle biopsy is a procedure used to diagnose diseases involving muscle tissue in the procedure of muscle biopsy a small sample of muscle tissue is removed for examination which layer of tissue surrounds the entire muscle a mediastinum b endometrium c epimysium d both a and b and the correct answer is c epimysium the epimysium is the dense connective tissue that surrounds the entire muscle tissue what type of muscle is responsible for maintaining posture and control over voluntary movements a skeletal muscle b smooth muscle c cardiac muscle d none of the above and the correct answer is a skeletal muscle voluntary movements are the movements of the body over which a person has his control skeletal muscles are responsible for maintaining posture and control over voluntary movements what two main types of proteins are responsible for the sliding filament mechanism a actin b myosin c alpha fetoprotein d both a and b and the correct answer is d both a and b the sliding filament theory explains the mechanism of muscle contraction based on muscle proteins that slide past each other to generate movement actin and myosin are the proteins responsible for sliding filament mechanism what is the term used to describe the increase in muscle size due to strength training a muscle hypertrophy b muscle atrophy c muscle fasciculation d tetany and the correct answer is a muscle hypertrophy after strength training your body repairs or replaces damaged muscle fibers through a cellular process where it fuses muscle fibers together to form new muscle protein strands or myofibrils these repaired myofibrils increase in thickness and number to create muscle hypertrophy what is the name of the type of muscle found in the heart that is responsible for its rhythmic beating a skeletal muscle b cardiac muscle c smooth muscle d gluteus maximus muscle and the correct answer is b cardiac muscle cardiac muscle present in the heart is responsible for its rhythmic beating what is the name of the diagnostic test that measures the electrical activity of muscles a electromyography b muscle biopsy c manual muscle testing d computer tomography scan and the correct answer is a electromyography electromyography is a diagnostic procedure to assess the health of muscles and the nerve cells that control them emg results can reveal nerve dysfunction muscle dysfunction or problems with nerve to muscle signal transmission What type of muscle is found in the walls of internal organs such as esophagus and intestines? A skeletal muscle, B smooth muscle, C cardiac muscle, D none of the above. And the correct answer is
Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates, follow our Telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.